3D Boxing here in the 210 with the man, the champ, Hector Tanahara. It's good to see you. Uh, how's it feel to be back in, in San Antonio? Good to see you too, man. Uh, it feels great being back in my hometown. Uh, San Antonio is a big boxing city. They got the best fans in the world, so you know I'm glad, I'm glad, glad to be back. And I uh, want to thank Robert and all them for giving me this opportunity. It really is the best boxing city in the country, right? I mean, you fought all over the place. It's been a while since you've been back home. Is it extra motivation? The last time you fought, it was in the Alamo Dome on the McGee card. What's it like to you know be back home? Is it extra motivation to, to put, a, put a show on for your, your hometown fans? Yeah, for sure, it's extra motivation. The first time I fought here, wasn't expecting that big of a turnout. So it pumped me up hearing the, the crowd going, cheering for me, going to the ring. So I know it's going to be like that even, even better this time. And uh, just ready to put on a great show for the fans. Is it still 135 or are we going up to 140? Going up to 140. We're going up to 140. Yes, sir. 140 is also a loaded division. A lot of good fighters there. What's the plan there? And, and when do you want to be fighting you know, the elite guys at 140, the reach pro grades, the Josh Shells? When do you want to be fighting you know, that level of guy? Uh, well, since I haven't fought in a while, that's why we decided 140, see how I feel there. If I feel great, then I'll stay. If not, I'll go back down to 135. I always thought you were a little big, because you started at 130, right? Yeah. I mean, I've always thought you were a little fighting the wrong weight class at yeah, 135. I've, I've been around the same weight for almost eight years now. 135. In amateurs, I fought 132. So I've been at this weight for a while. I, everyone says I'm good for this weight. You feel a little stronger, a little more powerful moving up? In exactly. I feel stronger, powerful, uh, more energy a little bit, you know? Uh, because you had another San Antonio, uh, San Antonio Barrios fighting at 130. That was the wrong weight class. I mean, moving up to 140. Yeah. That's when he got the 8, 9, whatever knockouts in a row. Yeah. You know, did you think what? You saw a little more power, get a few more knockouts at, at, at 140? Yeah, I think so. I think that's the case the same way Mario did it. Um, that's my body growing out of the way, so that's what we're going to do. And that's what we plan on doing, too. So I wanted to ask you about your, you know, your fellow San Antonio. You feel there's Barrios, but Bam has emerged as one of the superstars of boxing. Sorry. I mean, you've known him since he was a little kid. Yeah. What's that like to see him, you know, become everything you knew he could be like what's that like seeing yeah it now? No, it's, i've seen everything since the beginning amateurs you know he's always been he's always been different he's always been great uh now just the whole world has seen it you know uh, real close to his family i love his family i've seen the, the journey from when him and josh walked in the first the day of the gym until now he's a world champion so i'm very happy for him and his family you guys growing up all together i mean did you guys look at it like we really can get to this level i mean did you, i mean I know you dream about it, but did you really think like you'd all be fighting at a world-class level, you know, this early in your 20s? Uh, yeah, I, I did though. I did always think that, uh, like I said, San Antonio is a big boxing city and we have a lot of great fighters as well. And now the world has seen it and uh, the boxing community is growing. There's a lot of great fighters I see in the gym now. I even learn from them sometimes, you know, it's crazy seeing uh, how, how big boxing is getting here in San Antonio. You also got Pantorita in your gym too. Um, you know, what's your thoughts on Pantorita and how far can he go? Uh, him too. I've known him since he was a kid. He's always been. He still a, is a kid, right? Yeah, he's still a kid, but he's you know he's fighting men now, yeah. so he's a little more grown. But he's always been a great, great talent as well. A great amateur, and uh, he's showing it in the pros now. He's, he has, he's gonna have a great career as well. Uh, October 18th, right here in San Antonio. You're fighting Antonio Mejia. Yes, sir. Saying that right? Yeah. How much do you know about your opponent and what do you expect from him? Uh, I don't really ever know really too much about my opponent, so I let my, my trainers and the team take care of that. But uh, I, I know everyone that comes to fight, uh, I, I give them my respect because to get in the ring is, is a fight in itself. It's, you know, not too many people get up there, so you got to respect your opponent always. Uh, don't know too much about him, but I know he's going to come to fight. Um, I wanted to ask you, around your weight class, Ryan Garcia, Tank Davis, there's heavy rumors about that. Who would you favor in a Tank and Ryan fight? Uh, that would be a great fight. Um, I think I think Tank got it. You know, he, just I don't know, just something about it. he's just a little more of a, a more of a dog to me. I think I think he gets that fight. You're not with Dolan anymore, so I want to ask you this. And I wanted to ask you, were you guys with the same promotional company? Did Ryan Garcia duck you during the whole COVID time? Did he? Yeah, there was a rumors that you guys that you had signed the contract and he never did. Did Ryan duck you? Uh, I, I'm, all I know is that we signed the contract a few did. times and uh, nothing ever happened. So I don't know what to say about that, but you know, uh, yeah, we signed the contract a few times. I was getting ready for the fight and then the fight switched uh, on me. November 18th, you'll be back here in San Antonio. You want to give us a prediction? Oh man, I'm not really a prediction guy, but just uh, predicting a great fight, a great comeback for myself. Hector Tanahara, I tell everyone where I can find you on social media. Uh, sir, Hector Tanahara, you can find me at Hector underscore Tanahara, Instagram and Twitter. Hector Tanahara Jr. on Facebook. God bless you. Thank, Thank you. Time.